Breaking news. Japan has apparently made history by landing on the moon. Now, considering it's Japan, the king of the cameras, I'm kind of expecting an HD thrill fest here as they blow us away with incredible footage to back their historical claims. So let's have a look. It starts to descend again, and next aim is 50 meters. So at the next point, it will scan again to see if there are any obstacles. I'm just going to pause it there, young lady, and I'm going to pose a quick question. What the fuck's this? Where's this? Is this what you guys are showing as proof that you've landed on the moon? Surely not. I thought India was bad. This is how little they care now. This is the tosh they show. Surely there's more to it than this. Walls or boulders. Now you see on the left hand side, MLM. That means it has landed from the telemetry. Wow. So this is what they show you. This is what the people in the control room were seeing. And of course the data. Wow, that's really bad. Is, is this being done on purpose now? Because it's so embarrassing for, for most people looking at this stuff now. It's only people that have ridiculously deeply ingrained biases here that can't see the obvious problems. Don't get me wrong, no doubt we'll get a couple of photo snaps to follow, showing their prop. Maybe we might get some footage that, of course, will be not up to much. Maybe that'll follow. Maybe it won't. But considering it was Japan, like I say, the king of the cameras, I would have expected the evidence to have come in HD form, live. This happened this morning, so at least by now, I'd be looking at HD footage of this moon landing. But no, we've got like Sega Mega Drive type mockery here. It shows the sign MLM. It looks like on the telemetry that Slim is on the surface of the moon. And there you go. That's all these clowns need to do with the general public. And they'll be blown away. I had a mate who was a big, big defender of this tosh. So deluded was he in his defence of all of it. He actually woke people up around him with the tosh he came out with. People started to look at him, then question what he was defending. And then it became quite obvious he was, no disrespect to you because you're no longer with us, mate. Clearly not the full ticket when dealing with this subject matter. Although, in another matter, in different fields, he was an intelligent, logical guy. Seeing the biases at play is fascinating from a psychological point of view. It, I've said it before, it fascinates me. But ultimately, the space charade is turning into mockery for the, the believers of it. Oh, thankfully, I'm able to laugh at it, even though it's a very serious subject overall. The globe, the space, the mainstream narrative, essentially, you know, it's not good for, uh, for us in any shape or form, okay? The sooner the people snap out of these biases and realise the tosh that's being served up from the space agencies is pure mockery, the better. Because it, it baffles me how this has gone on this long. Globe scientifically impossible, not even up for debate. There's nothing to say. There's only science that can be tested and verified. The results of those things prove the globe's impossible. That's it. If you want maps and models, it's full exploration all the way. And for that, I'd need, if I was to provide a map, I'd need five years off a team of cartographers, Pilots, uh, sailors, and all sorts of technology to map and explore. And of course, dealing with all the red tape as well, okay? 
So asking me stuff like that is just ridiculous. I can't provide a map until we have full exploration. Until then, I stand by science that can be tested and verified by all. There is no truer, more honest way. And that way highlights the absurdity of the globe and space. And it's not as if they're doing a very good job selling space these days. Like I say, pure mockery. You thought India was bad? Wow. Japan just took the pantomime to the next level.